What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a new tutorial for Brute Force Save Data 474 on how to remove the lock from a copy protected save. A lot of people have requested me to make this video to explain it a little bit clearer on how you can remove the lock from a copy protected save. So, there are two methods you can use obviously, Brute Force Save Data 474, and you can also use Pattern.SFO Editor. Either or would do the same thing, it's just whatever you feel comfortable using. So I'm actually going to show that to you in one second. I'm also going to explain certain factors at the end of the video on what can prevent you from not actually getting this to work correctly. So without further ado, let's actually jump into it. The first method I'm going to show you is using the Pattern.SFO editor. So I open it up. Let me load my Dragon Ball Z. Xenoverse save. You know I always say that wrong. It's, I meant to say Dragon Ball Xenoverse, but you, you get the gist. So I'm gonna open it up, and as you guys can see, it just loaded. Now all you have to do to remove the lock from the copy protected save is go right here. It says protected. Let's uncheck it. Hit save. Give it a second. It disappeared, and that's it. The lock is gone. So when you open it up in Brute Force Save Data, it will show no, uh, it will say actually in the tab. So let me actually do this while you guys are here. Just hang on one second. It's loading. So as you guys can see, see in the tab, it says copy protected. This is blank. This save is now usable on any account. When I say usable, that means that you can try to put it on your PlayStation and it may copy, but it can still give you a corrupt data. I will explain that at the end of the video why that happens. So as you guys can see right now, this save is unlocked. And that's all there is to do it using the Pattern.SFO editor. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in Brute Force Save Data. Give me one second. I'm going to actually lock the save again give it a second it's done i'm gonna close this out now i'm gonna refresh as you guys can see now it's saying yes copy protected so now the save actually has been locked again we want to remove the lock off the copy protected save this time we're going to actually do it using brute force so, you, well, I always highlight the crypt, the crypto files, hit yes, right? Then right click, remove copy protection, hit yes. Now, once that's done, you're going to re encrypt, yes. Then you want to verify PFD. And once you hit this, what it's going to do is make sure that the save is still good. So I'm going to hit it. As, in, as you can see, okay, 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 okay. So right now, I just took off the copy protected. And as you guys can see, everything's saying okay. And that's all there is to actually taking off the protection or the lock off a protected save. That's it. So I just showed you both methods. One is using Pattern.SFO editor. The other is using Brute Force Save Data. And again, I just used the Dragon Ball Xenoverse Save. Now, let me also explain to you the factors that can prevent you from getting a corrupt data or you still try to use the same and the same don't work. One thing you need to keep in mind is that when you remove the lock off a copy protected save, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. Some will just work when you just take off the lock, you copy it back to your PlayStation. And when I say copy it, you got to make sure that your profile here matches the same profile on your PlayStation. So keep that in mind. So if you try to use somebody else's save, and yes, they took off the lock, but it's associated with their profile or their placement. You have to change it to your profile. 
another scenario that I hear a lot of people say is that, oh, the save is giving me a corrupt data. Now, the factor of why that can happen is two to three things. If you have a save, one, and you try to copy it, say, let's say you take off the copy protection off the save with the lock off the save, and you also assign it to your profile correctly, and then you go and copy it to your PlayStation, to the right account on your PlayStation, and you still get a corrupt data, that can mean that they may have a check sub inside the actual PlayStation of the game, which you have no access to, that tells your save that you're trying to load, which is with the lock off, that, hey, this save has been tampered with. So it automatically will tell you you have to create a new save. That's something that the developers put inside their game so that people don't do these type of things. So that's a factor of when you do everything right, but you still try to put the save on there, you still get corrupt data. Right now, there's nothing that I know of that can fix that unless they got to check some fixer that's out for that game. So you need to keep that in mind. Maybe you did everything right, but yet it still won't work. Keep, just put that in the back of your mind that there could be something in the game that's telling your telling the actual save, hey, he tampered with this save. We won't allow it to work. He has to create a new save. If it works for you, you 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 in there, you good. But if it doesn't, that can be a possibility or why it doesn't work. Uh, another factor on why the save may not work is if you didn't do it correctly. That when I mean correctly, a lot of people fail to realize is that if you have a save, you remove the copy protection off the save, but you may need to change the region of the save and reassign it to your profile. So a lot of people don't look at those things and just say, hey, I removed the copy protection off the save and it should work. Wrong. If you remove the copy protection off your save and you didn't associate it A with your profile and the region does not match your game, it will not work at all. So try to remember that you need to look at, is it associated with my profile? And does this region match my game region so I can use this? If you do everything and you double check those two things, hopefully it should work for you. The last thing I want to explain to everybody, because this is the number one question everybody emails me. How do I take a copy protected save that's on my PlayStation off of my PlayStation so that I can unlock it? and use my own save. The answer to this question for a thousand times is if you have an original firmware PlayStation that is not modified, you cannot remove the copy protection save off of your PlayStation. The only thing you can do is find someone like myself who puts out saves that are copy protected, but you have to remove the protection and then you could reassign it to your account and, and put it on your PlayStation. You cannot take your save that you work hard for that is copy protected off your PlayStation. It's not gonna come off. There's no way to get it off. You, you just have to find someone that out there and use their save and reassign it to your account. And if you get the save to work, you may have to play back to your part again and then once you get to wherever you're at and you're good, then you can just take it off like normal, like a uh, backup save or whatever, and it will be associated with your account. But going forward, you cannot remove, there is no method that I know of that can actually allow you to take your copy protected saves off a non-modded PS3 and use it. Sorry, if one comes out, I'll let you guys know, but I don't know of one. So hopefully this video should clarify to you guys on how to A, remove the lock from a card protected save, B, check on certain parts to make sure that you actually did it correctly, 
before you try to use the safe and see all the problems you can face even if you did even if you remove the car protected lock off the safe you can still run into problems it's just one of those things that you're just gonna have to test if it works for you you end it if it doesn't work for you try to follow those guidelines that i said check the profile check the region and make sure that you remove the copy protection correctly if you do those things you should not have a problem unless there is something in the game that is telling the save that you modified it and the game will not allow you will not allow you to use that save so it will force you to create a brand new save hopefully this was helpful as always, guys, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. Thank you for watching. If, you, if this video was helpful, give me a like. But as always, peace.